Hi everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and I'm doing a surprise unboxing. I believe this is from a friend. Um, it's handwritten, I'm not going to show the address. Max, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually look for your probably, you know, we all each have our own like woo-woo name or, you know, what have you, you know, my Abundant Life Tarot and and so I, I got to look up this lovely person's magical name that I got a surprise. Um, someone, a dear person, reached out to me some time ago asking if they could send me a gift because they have some decks they'd like to share with me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, well, thank you. Um, I want to be able to return the favor, hopefully. I'm actually looking forward to that, to returning the favor. So, but you know, I, you know, I didn't think much of it. I was like, oh, you know, I gave my address. I was like, it's, you know, whatever, it's clever. I'm not going to worry about it. And so I'm not going to read the note on here. Um, uh, yes, thank you, Max. Oh, yes, we will definitely connect soon. Like, as we discussed, we will be making much more of a connection. I want to thank you for your beautiful generosity and for showing me and my family love and showing the channel love and cheers to our friendship thank you thank you so much so and you didn't have to do this by the way <laughs> so it's a surprise because she says she had some decks that she wanted to share look omg i'm so excited it's the Melanated Classic Tarot inspired by Ryder Waite Smith. And it says here, Representation Matters, Especially with Archetypes of Magic and Power by Julia Goolsby and Ubria Tronshaw. Oh my gosh, Max. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you you're so sweet. Oh my goodness. Because we were talking about how I... Um, um, how I don't have a lot of fully melanated decks, meaning, you know, like where it's um, predominantly black people, you know, in the deck. And that I have diverse ones, yay, and I'm happy for that. And I have ones that are not, you know, diverse either, and I'm still, you know, loving them as well. But it just is extra special um, to have decks that represent your people because you know I do readings for you know people in my community as well and it's just nice to be able to have something that I can consult and pull down and use for them and to have different options as well so I was so touched that she was like oh I have one I'm gonna be careful I don't want to mess up the box I have one that I can give to you and I'm like well thank you and now my collection is just you know it's growing. And that's why I'm like in this place where I'm starting to really look at my deck collection and wanting to let like maybe share and gift decks that I'm no longer using. Not that there's anything wrong with the decks that I have that I may end up, you know, doing in giveaways or sharing or gifting or reselling or trading. Nothing wrong with them at all. It's just that, you know, our tastes evolve and change. Like I'm sure you guys can relate. And yeah so oh, i'm gonna be careful don't want to mess it up i don't have my let's see sometimes this might not be long enough you can try to sorry guys oh, excuse my reach this is my multi-use tools. It helps get wax out of certain situations, as you can see at the edge. <laughs> oh, open up tuck boxes. It's just multi-purpose. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Max. I'm so excited. I'm like, I don't even know if I have something in my collection that's gonna excite you <laughs> to share. But I'm gonna try. Let's see. 
I love surprise unboxings, by the way. Makes me feel like a big old kid. Okay. Alright. Here are the backs. Okay. And we have the full thin card stock. But, you know, for riffle shuffling, it probably is a dream. We'll have to see. I probably wouldn't. To keep it in its, you know, decent state, I probably might not even try. But, you know me, I can't help myself. Here. I'm trying to get it to focus. I really like the magician. Trying to get it to focus. It doesn't want to focus. There's the high priestess. <laughs> the Empress. I like the Empress and then the Emperor. Uh oh crap. My mic. There's the hierophant. There's the lovers. I love the colors. Yeah, even though it's thin cardstock, I love the vibrancy of the colors. And I love that, you know, with the black card stock or the black um, backing, if you needed to, like if I am in a riffle shuffle, I can edge it in black and that might thicken up the, um, the edges a little bit and kind of help it to hold up a little bit better. Because um, it is thin and I, I do like to riffle shuffle and so, yeah, strain. It's hard to contain myself with riffle shuffling when it's this deck size. Here's the hermit. Here's a little fortune. And it's not super glossy. I like that too. It's just like um, like a satin justice. The Haynes Man. Ooh, that looks kind of scary. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. Temperance. A man this time. Traditional Devil. And it's very Ryder Wade Smith esque. Here is the tower, the star, the moon, <laughs> the dogs. Oh, look at the moon. I like the moon. The sun, and I like the sun. Judgment, I like the flag on the trumpet. The world car gorgeous. Ace of Wands. I like the green nails. Very modern touch. <laughs> Two of Wands. I love is two women. It's cool. 
Those are the final ones. I like that. I really actually like this deck. I know it's like, you know, first of all, I've never even really heard of it before. I'm surprised. Um, but, hey, it's whatever. I like being surprised. Here's the six of wands. Seven. Here's the eight. Additional nine. Ten. The page. Here's the night. Here's the queen, like her dreads, and the king. Here is the ace of cups, two of cups. I like that it's like traditional Rider Waite Smith, you know, inspired. Um, you know, with the old clothing style. Um, and then it's just, you know, no one needed it. And I actually like that. <laughs> yeah, you can hear. Uh, let's see, here's the Three of Cups. I like the Four of Cups. Proper depiction there. You're like, mm, I don't want it. Like this five of cups. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I'm always looking at the eights. It's important to me look closely. Yeah, I like that. They're going ascending up. Oh. Higher ground. Nine. Mm. Ten. <laughs> Page of Cups. Hard to focus. Knight of Cups. Pretty Queen of Cups. I like her. Let's see what Barely can get her to focus. King. I'm just got a couple more suits. We've got the aces, we got the ace of swords. I'll go through these quickly. We have the two of swords. Oh, look at the three. Very traditional four. And then a five. Mm hmm. And then six. Actually, a shoreline in view. Seven. Eight. I like the nine here. Nine. Like, really like it. Make sure they. And the ten. On the page. Sorry if it's not for the lack of focus. The night. You can feel the fast for momentum of, of the Knight of Swords in this card. You can feel it. Queen Swords. The gorgeous King. It's actually gorgeous, I think. Can't quite get on the focus though. Sorry. 
And then the pentacles. The ace of pentacles. The two. And the three. And then the four. Mm -hmm. the five. Six, seven, eight, like that. That's beautiful. Nine. And a gorgeous ten. Page Knight and Queen, see, lower cheekbones, strong cheekbones, <laughs> and the lovely King. Yeah, just. I wish the card stack was a little thicker only because I want to use the heck out of this deck. Here is the, um, the guidebook. And wow, it's the intro. And she wrote, I only started reading tarot cards about 18 months ago in 2017. I began with the Rider Waite Smith deck because it's the most straightforward teaching tool for a beginner. However, the non-melanated images were off-putting because so much of tarot reading is about the ability to interpret and discern situations, but it causes unnecessary strain and psychic interference when none of the cards look like you or any of the people you're asking about. Hmm. I like that. So. Oh, look. You know why this is also special to me? Because the deck... Artists, let's see, or the creator is from Sacramento, my hometown. So already that's like extra special. <laughs> that makes me extra love it. So let's see how, oh boy, y'all. Y'all know me in the shuffling. Here we go. Oh, I have to take care of it though. It's locally made. Oh, oh look at the queen of pinnacles. This makes me extra love this deck. Let me tell you that that um, I mean, it was, I knew it was gonna shuffle gorgeously because of the thinner card stock. There's trade-offs, right? With thinner card stock, you run the risk of ruining your deck so quickly, you know, and you may have to invest in a backup copy, but. I'm willing to make, take that risk. I love it. I love it. It's like, now I have a Melanated Classic Tarot deck. And I now have the Centennial Rider right Waite Smith. And then I have my, mel my Melanated Classic Tarot. I like shuffling. I'm just concerned, though, that I'm not sure how it does with jumpers. Oh, it does well. <laughs> just as I was like, I don't know. Is it going to jump? Yeah. We've got the star and the hanged man. You see the star on the top? So there you have it, folks. That is my surprise unboxing. So... Thanks again, Max, for this gorgeous gift. I so appreciate you, and I so appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and spending some time with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.